Yo guys, what's up? Juan here. For today's video, I'm going to be teaching you how to do this cool interactive augmented reality filter effect for your Instagram, where you'll be able to use your 3D assets from a kid called Beast and upload them onto Blender, animate them, and also use it on Spark AR. Make sure you guys follow along. Enjoy. Okay guys, so now that we are in Blender, first thing you're going to want to do is remove this, right click, delete. You're going to open up file. You're going to import your GLTF format. will open up in the scene now that your kid called beast is in the scene our main focus for today is gonna be only the head because we'll be doing a wearable but we will also make these eyelids animate so that they can blink all right first things first guys is you want to obviously change the viewport uh, shading so that we can actually see the real shading color materials and everything but first off is you want to remove all of the items that are obviously not a part of the head. Right click and delete. Now what you wanna do is you wanna select the head, you wanna use this move cursor and you wanna push it to the bottom where the square first was in the scene. Now that it's in this placement, what you want to do is you want to go a little closer. You want to, you can use these tools right here and this right side. You can use this move tool. You can use this uh, zoom tool. And it's really, really nice to use, really fun. And uh, you can also use these uh, viewpoint tools where you can viewpoint the front. You can viewpoint the back. You can just simply click X. You can do here, do this, you can do that. So it's really cool, really fun. But for today, we're going to be focusing on the front of the eyes and these two. So first things first, what you're going to want to do is remove the animations on the eyelids and the animations on this whole scene collection. So first off, what we're going to do is remove this animation, clear data, and continue with the rest. So uh, once you're done, you can clean up your scene collection. And now what you want to do is focus on these two. So first things first is you're going to want to go to your shape keys. Here on shape keys, what you're going to want to do is select first the eyelid that you're going to focus on. For right now, we're going to focus on our left eyelid, which is this one. And um, one thing that would really help you is if you turn off all of your materials. So for example, right now I'm going to turn off this and then I'm going to turn off uh, the face and I'm also going to turn off these uh, white panels in the back, which are the sclera. Um, now that we have that, we also want to hide our pupil, which is our pupil right here. Hide those right there. And then um, what you want to do is you want to click your uh, scene or your object, I mean, sorry with the select box tool go on to shape keys here click this little plus add another one and now you want to name it after your eyelid which would be the left now that it is called left what you want to do is now select object click edit mode and click away from it now that you can see that we have all of these things that have turned orange. These are now your shape keys and these are your triangles. These triangles are used for your materials and you can animate them. You can do a lot of cool stuff and move them around and stretch them, etc. So for this is, uh, is how we're gonna be doing the animation for the uh, eyelids to blink. Select these settings, which are the um, select mode. You're going to click right here which is going to be enable mesh symmetry in the x axis so that will make sure that you're clicking just you know all of the front or anything you know that's in the area but um for this what really helps is if you use your uh shift and you just select a, a certain amount of triangles that you would like to have but make sure that they are even for example i'm making sure that this is like a one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 
And then on the other side, I'm gonna make sure there's the same side, you know? So for example, I can see that there's some orange there. I can see my orange already through here. Click this, click that. Then also, if you want, it would really help. You could just tap if you want, if that's really fun with you, but make sure you're clicking and holding down shift while you're doing this. Cool. So now that you have them selected, what you want to do is you want to click the move and you want to move it down. As you can see now, we are able to stretch this. Now we can do our animation, but prior to this, you really want to show where the mask is and also the eye is so that you can have like a kind of a basic idea where you want it to stop. So for that, we're going to go back into that, open up our eyelid pupil, and then um, open up our face. We're going to go down. As you can see now, it has like an animation where it looks like it's blinking. If we go out, it will look like it's blinking. So for this, you just really want to make it look in the sweet spot. So the really important part here is you make sure you click this um, shape key edit mode box. Uh, what this will do now is if you keep it in this position where you want it to be, it will be like a starting point and like an ending point. So this is really useful. Um, well, really important, really. Um, so now you can see it went back to its spot. The reason why I did that is because now you have values and with that value, you can adjust it to where it will give it a blinking animation for your eyelid. But for that, now what we can do is you can see on your object mode, um, you will see that there's kind of like a misrendering here, but that's very normal. As you can see, it looks really solid here. And that's how it will look um, on Spark AR when we do edit it. And you wanna do the same with the uh, right eyelid. Um, make sure that you add a shape key and you follow with that and it will look well. So you can see also right here, we don't have like anything closed. So it's gonna be very important on Spark AR that you do rotate your head and adjust it. But again, that will be in the Spark AR part. But for this, um, the main important part is really just having to adjust these two. Again, how I told you, uh, you're gonna want to make sure that you hide your mask, you're gonna wanna hide your, um, your stuff and making sure that um, all of your uh, skin tones and your shadings and stuff are hidden. And then um, you're able to select uh, edit mode on the rest and continue doing that with, uh, with the process. Sweet, so now that you have both animated, you can see that if you do click on each um, eyelid, it will have its own values. And now you can get that effect. Again, if you click on the right side, you will have that same value. And if you really wanted to, you can do an animation sequence here. But for today's goal, we'll we just only be adding the shape keys. So as you can see, we have a blink here and we have a blink here. So now what we're gonna do is just making sure that we save this file. What you're gonna do is you're gonna export this into GLTF. And now you will save that onto your desktop and we will import this file onto Spark AR and make sure that we turn it into a wearable for Instagram. So now that you're in Spark AR, open up a Blink project. Once you have your Blink project, you can use the real-time simulation camera or you can use your webcam. Open up a face tracker. Now drop your asset that you finished doing on Blender. I will be using the scaling tool and also the rotating tool and the moving tool to do these adjustments.
I recommend you using your webcam to do good adjustments. So you guys can see right here, we're still using the scaling tools and we're using the moving tools. Another thing we'll be doing is also rotating to show more of the mask from the bottom of the neck to give it a more realistic look, like so. Now that you have done this, we will do a patch editor. This is where we'll be doing the animation for the eyelids. Look up eyelid, insert. Now, if you open up your asset, you will see the eyelids and the animations are there. Insert the right to the right on the eyelid. And insert the left to the left eyelid. Like so. Now that you have done this, as you see, our animation works, but it only works reversed. For this, we'll be having to add two patch nodes. One will be subtract, and the other one will be exponential smoothing. Add, subtract. Add exponential smoothing. Connect eyelid to subtract. Connect left to exponential smoothing. Change damping to 50, subtract to 1. As you can see, the effect is starting to work. Next, we will be doing the right one. As you can see, I have enabled my webcam to get a more better adjustment and a better idea of how I want it to look. For this next step, I will be doing the same for the right eye. For damping, I have changed the values to 30 to get a more faster blink. Next, I will show you how to change materials. Now, do your final tweaks and adjustments. Remember, you can send this to your phone to test at any time. Now, we're finished guys. I hope you guys enjoyed and make sure you guys tag me on your final products and your filters. Have a good one. Stay beast.